Good day everyone, I'm Amy Ann Listo, your reporter, and today our topic is all about Chapter 7, Organizing the Physical Facilities. Here are the topic outline. First, selection of plant location. Second, selection and erection of buildings. Third, plant layout. Uh, fourth is installation of the equipment. According to Rafael Nadal, I always wanted to be honest with myself and to those who have had faith in me. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of the report, the listener must be able to first, to consider the factors which are determining the region, determining the community, and the choosing the plant site. Second, knowing the different types of uh, buildings, uh, their advantages and disadvantages, current trends, and building constructor. Third, to classify the factors of plan layout, to know the plan layout, design objectives, and uh, fundamentals, planning types, and process. And the last is to learn about the equipment's installation. Alright, let's move on in our first subtopic, which is the selection of plant locations. On the most crucial decision a, a business may make regarding its future in where to locate a plant, uh, different sectors have different plant site. Uh, consideration and technical and economic condition are always changing. So while, uh, while some business uh, businesses are influenced by the markets, other look for raw material sources. So in the selection of plant location, the following consideration should be taken into account. First, determining the region. Second, determining the community. And the last is choosing the plant site. So, okay, let's move on in determining the region. Determining the region in which the plant to be located requires consideration of five prime factors, namely uh, the proximity to market, proximity to necessary materials, uh, transportation facilities, uh, adequate public and private services, and the last is climate. So first, the proximity to market. A plant's Prosmis, uh, propensity to locate close to its market has been observed when picking a location uh, proximity to potential customers is crucial. A bakery would be open in the population or center of the town rather than in a, a sparse, sparsely populated neighborhood. That's uh, the proximity to market. The next is proximity to necessary materials. So, when processing, eliminate uh, a significant amount of weight. The raw materials and manufacturing elements is extremely important to take into account. So maybe proximity to, to the market wins out. Uh, the source of the materials is merely a mere minor factor. It is an easily transportable or it's the cost of moving it, it is low compared to its value that's the proximity to necessary materials and the next is the transportation facilities <clears throat> the ace of transportation option has a significant impact on how economically the firm is run so the most cost effective way to transport heavy cargo such as Coal, iron, or, or, or oil is by water, providing its accessible, the real road, and the motor truck are speeder, but more expensive, the quickness mode of transportation is by air, which is the best for perishable and light objects. That's the transportation facilities. And the next is adequate 
with public and private services such as water, power, foil, gas, etc. The following example should show how manufacturing prospers in areas with abundant powers and water supplies. For instance, in the Philippines, the United States and the United Kingdom is a clear how crucial sufficient power is to a thriving industrial economy. And the last is the climate. The climate characteristic like temperature and humidity plays a significant role in some businesses. So previously, Mount Province was regarded as the ideal location for a titled industry. This benefit has been lost as it is now possible to machinar, um, mechanically uh, regulate the humidity of the air in a manufacturing facility. That's all for determining now, the region and let's move on in determining the community. So, once the general area of region has been determined, the selection of the pop, uh, particular community is next. The best choice of a community for the plant depends on the consideration of the following factors. The first factor is labor supply because kids immediately uh, imitate their parents the watch industry is concentrated in the Switzerland. The labor supply can be linked to the shoe business. In Marquina, wood carvings in Paiti and wooden uh, shoes in the uh, Baifian. There needs to be ready supply, especially when a business is growing. The second is the wage scales. A significant portion of a bus uh, company's expenses are wage. Those are save any saving that may be achieved by paying less in wage must be taken into account. Due to the reduced uh, reduce labor, the American shipbuilding industry is shipping to Japan. For similar reason, American automakers also produce automobiles abroad. And the, and the third is other enterprises in the community. So salary make up a large part of the company's expenses. So any serving that could be made by paying less in wage must be considered. The American uh, shipbuilding in industry is moving to Japan as a result to lower labor costs. American automakers also export their vehicles for identical reasons. That's it. And the fourth a factor is the industrial attitude of the community. So it matters how the community as a whole feels and works together. Even the best public relations specialists and work together, even the best public relations specialists cannot often overcome an anti-business or anti-industry attitude, a tom plague by labor union strike factions and political or interpersonal disputes does not provide a positive climate. And the last is the taxes and restricting legislation law. governing wage and working hours, uh, tajama, as well as mun municipal ordinance restrictions are examples of typically legislative variables that reveals a state's and a community attitude towards business. And now, choosing the plan site. So, after determining the region and the community in it, the final step is, of course, the selection of the exact plan in uh, plan site in the community with the following factors to consider. First is the land. The land is the main factor to take into account when choosing a late location including whether there is uh, enough space for development on parking for employees cars whether that uh, topography is suitable for the intended building style and whether the soil texture and drainage will ensure stronger strong foundations and the second is transportation Transportation or whether the site is easily accessible or essential. Real autom automobile, water, or air transportation is the other aspect that ranks uh, second in significance. Could the workers, for example, get there with a 
with or without their own transportations. Well, well, the highways make it possible for supplies and rose materials enter and leave quickly with finished goods. And the third is miscellaneous consider condition pertaining to surroundings. So, the third element has something to do with the surrounding of the location with respect to the following questions. Uh, one, two, and three. Will it be a nice environment for the employees to work in? Two, ex uh, exit any zoning or constructions regulation that would prevent the kind of building that is suggested. And the last is their appropriate local fire protection available at the site. Next, the next is present trends in plan location. So, rather than in a rural areas or inside cities, plans are more likely to be found close to urban areas. Virtu uh, virtually, all the benefits, uh, amenities, and services that are provided in metropolitan regions are also available in suburban location. So, they also have the added benefits of having enough grade of the plants to be spread out and uh, reduce assessment values. And now, let's move on in the second topic outline, which is uh, selection and erection of buildings. So, for instance, Heavy manufacturing necessitate large robust uh, structures, yet a storefront needs to be suited so that a product may be shown properly. Next, building can be uh, divided into two categories. First, single-story buildings and the second is multi-story buildings so each has some clearly advantages and it is important to analyze their relative qualities in light of the needs of the particular organization so there are the single story or over the multi uh, multi-story vice versa so advanced advantages of single story over the multi-story so Number one is greater ease of expand, expansion to ex, extension or existing buildings is made possible. So the second is there is less by vibration where uh, sensitive equipment and materials are employed together with heavy machinery. The third is the soil requirements for funda foundation are less severe. And the fourth is there is a better natural light and ventilation which is cheaper and hygienically preferable to air conditioning and artificial lighting. So the five is there is more usable floor space in a sense be because no pace is required to ele elevator and stairways. And the third, uh, the six is there is more efficient routing, uh, possible and lower materials handling costs. And the last is the better ex uh, supervision is made possible when the supervision um, and the seven is better supervision is made possible when the supervisor executive does not have to go up and down several floors and also <clears throat> the advantages of multi-story over single-story buildings so, number one is more uh, efficient use of land space, particularly where the space is limited or expensive can be had where a business cannot uh, spread out, it can al always go up. And the, th the second is lower cost of uh, construction per square foot or, or floor space is another advantage the upper floor are often mere uh, reputation of the lower floors and the, the, four, the third is it is cheaper to uh, to heat because of a least rough and other space through which heat can escape it is also cheaper to cool whether air conditioner is necessary so the fourth is upper stories are more free from straight noises odors and dirt the sensitive equipment uh 
sometimes must be kept or at certain distance from noise and dirt and the last is use of gravity flow of materials is permitted the flow of production from one stage to another may be facilitated by the gravity flow of products and materials okay let's move on in present trends in building constructions strong incentives for the managing management to build a single story structure include among others thing the flexible of plant layouts and lower routine and materials handling cost so it is still uh, has as district a place on the list of industrial buildings for light production and other application of the gravity flow concept so typically of other recognition recognized trends in buildings a uh, design and construction are those pertaining to the spacing of column the utilization of basement and the construction of walls, roof, and floors. So the first is um, spacing of column. The current thinking regarding columns spacing is moving towards interior that are higher and wider. So, adoptedly, the growing needs by uh, for flexibility is recent years to adapt to manufacturing conditions that are continu uh, continuously changing has had an impact on his development and the second is use of basement for the process and storage of raw materials or a factory basement and sub basement plays an ever more important role as they travel to the form the workplace above the employees work via hallways uh, similarly suitable Shooted in the hallways are restroom, dressing room, and sometimes an air-conditioned cafeteria. So the the next is the welding. The rigidity of a solid concrete walls is one of the major of draw drawbacks. An available uh, modification, for example, but will result in significant cost because they are generally quite expensive. Brick in hands uh, frequently choose for work walls in uh, various nations. So concrete hollow blocks are frequently utilized in the Philippines. And the next is roofing. Due to the improvement in natural lightning provided by the former and association uh, occasionally because of the lower initial of an ongoing maintenance cost. So so tooth roofs had earned more preference of popularity than flat roofs so and the next is the flooring so modern industrial and structure need robust flooring particularly those with a large machinery installation must frequently concrete or tiles are used so new very durable reasonable uh, reasonably priced and simple to maintain tiles that reduce jerry noise are now increasingly popular all right let's move on in present trends in building installations the industry is currently focusing a lot of attention on building installation and facilities they include the most recent development in uh, managing theory with uh, reference to the installation of equipment for improved pro uh, process a control and production effectiveness they pay off through higher production and cheaper accident com co compensation so here are the building installation and facilities where are given major attention of the following so first is the plant illumination so when together light and pain form of my uh, partnership uh, they that can dispel darkness and plants improve uh, productivity efficiency and stop moral more than pay for themselves the goal of factory lighting is to make it easy to employees to see that they are doing without effort or indecision so the last uh, the second is the fluorescent lighting so uh, the use of flor fluorescent lighting is currently uh, very popular industry really is uh, mostly on this kind of artificial lighting which has uh, largely uh, supplanted incandescent lighting the glow created by intraviolent 
photons in the tube with fluorescent powers uh, inside in the basis of the fluorescent lighting. So, fluorescents also have the advantages. So, first is the practically glareless can be made to stimulate uh, daylight and create improves night uh, working condition. The second is it's operate the cooler that can uh, that of the incandescent of mercury lamps, particularly where air conditioning is installed. And the third is it is more economical in operation. For example, one ta one hundred watts of fluorescent lighting being exp uh, approximately equivalent in foot of candle uh, illumination to three hundred watts in of incandescent lighting so the next is the cooler uh, color conditioning so industrial color conditioning main goals is to achieve uniform brightness which enough construct to that uh, the works will look more engaged to the employees eyes that the surroundings white paint in no is known to reflect between 20, uh, 74 and 90 percent of light saving many food candles of energy and the so next the is the air conditioning so as more and more processes that require suitable temperature and dust free air are developed air conditioning has been as found growing use in industry the trends has also been influenced by the low cost sources of electricity and now Let's move on in the third uh, subtopic, which is uh, the plan layout. So, there are factors influence and plan layout, such as first the type uh, types of industry, which may be a uh, continuous industry, one in which all the materials are received at one point, from which uh, successive operation turn these materials into finished product. Uh, assem an assembly industry uh, as in the case of car manufacturing the second types uh, types of products so which may be either be heavy or light a large or small liquid or solid and the next is types of operation which may be a uh, wet operation as leather training or textile uh, dyeing uh, heavy machinery a large uh, hydraulic of presses or and operation which involves fire rest as powder manufacturing or fire cracking maker so and the last is the types of workers so as in the case of employment of the woman with um, requires engineering uh, changes and the construction of necessary facilities these are recognized ideals of plant uh, layout in particular plants as so first is proper balancing of department and operation which is perial, uh, referee, uh, reference to arrangement process, handling of materials and better control. And the next is adequate internal uh, transportation and the adequate provision for the receipt of raw materials and uh, storage and shipments of finished product and the last is provision of future expansion and uh, also we have the plan layout and design the physical uh, co uh, configuration of factories plants warehouse office and laboratory spaces are commercial and commercial facilities is the subject of plan planning and design equipment play people and their places of equipment utilities uh, auxiliaries and communication and control equipment are all included in this com configuration a poor layout could cause uh, work to ship around needed list or uh, slowly down to the process and the next is the objective of plan layout so making a layout plan is not the intended all work outcome not even the people who have who are in uh, charge of planning the main goals are more likely to be enhanced operations higher output and the decrease expenses uh, the actual objectives must be uh, express 
clearly in order to plan layouts and plan design effective. We also have the plan layout fundamentals. So, it's probably impossible to achieve all the benefits of a good facility app in any one plan. May by its very nature, a plan facility involves multi multi attitude multitude or factors and considerations, products, materials, a cell volume, uh, people, building, uh, services, uh, utilities, and the like. All this uh, must be blended into the facility that were given the large uh, greatest benefits and have the fewest. A limitation so a manager should aim at a certain foundations uh, fundamentals in his uh, uh, facility this include integration and integration of all patent uh, pertinent factors affecting the layout and then the utilization and effective utilization of mechanary people and plant space so and then the expansion then easily to expand then the flexibility is easy to rearrange and uh first ability so readily adaptive adaptable to changes in product design sales requirements and process improvement and the next is the regular regular regularity a regular or straight division of areas and relatively even size or of areas especially when separately separated by the building walls floors main isles and the like and the next is the close less uh, closeness i mean a practical uh, minimum distance for moving material supporting service and people and the next is the orderliness a sequence of logical workflow and clean work areas with suitable equipment for scrap trash and waste and the next is convenience for all employees both in day to day and periodic operations and the last is satisfactory uh, satisfac uh, and the last is satisfaction and uh, safety for all employees also we have the layout planning so basically any layout planning involves first the relationships closeness uh, closeness desired between various activities or functionals areas and the second the second is the space so in amount kind and shape of each uh, activities or function functional areas and the last is adjustment of the activities areas in a layout plan and also we have the types of layout so there are the three so-called classical types of layout fixed uh, position process or functional or functions and the product or function and the product or productions line so first is the fixed position so holds the chef uh, chef materials in one place and brings men and machines to it this layout is generally most economic uh, economical when the product or materials is a uh, special specifically large and heavy the quantity of the each item is small and the process is simple and the next is the process layout or layout by function in generally most economical with the process of nature the operation is relatively complex or costly so the product our materials are diversified or variable and the quantities mm. as each um, item are relatively few so and the next is the product layout or line production in generally most economical with the quantity is large the pro uh, process is fairly simple and the product of materials are relatively standardized constant and not too large for the above we note that the decision as as to type of the layout rest uh, shiftly of the three elements which is the pqr the product or materials the quantity or the sales volume and the routing or the process of operation that is the pqr the three elements and now this uh, three elements intimate intermine and in 
Uh, these three elements determine the flow of materials. A certain P is a certain Q, moving through a certain Q. And for our last subtopic for today is installation of the equipment. So, when installing equipment safety precaution for both operation, operating and maintenance staff should be taken into account. So, the, to increase safety and effectiveness, automatic a system should be installed on gas line. So, the first, we have the, uh, the very important in installing the uh, equipment is the project studies. So, a variety of the uh, business with respect to supply and demand should be included in project analysis. This, uh, are there currently abundant supplies and little demand? A market potential vast enough and demand high enough for the market as a whole to still accommodate uh, the var uh, arrival of the new supplier so technical factors include things like productions cost and how well current facilities are used so uh, financial feasibility uh, overall financial position of the company uh, profit incident sell labels deem uh, servicing uh, in financing to come from uh, borrowing fund or etc. Over a project uh, e evaluation can based on the above features. That's all for today. And according to the calling for well via Gecko and Fly, there are no secret to success. It is the result and preparation, hard work, and learning from failures. So that's it. Again, I'm Imi Andisto. Thank you for listening and have a good day.